The encouraging word of this week is simply, be strong in the Lord, okay? Be strong in Jesus the Christ. In this world, you will find that many things attack us. And many of those things that attack us are really of the flesh. But God has blessed you with the power and presence and person of the Holy Spirit. And through Jesus Christ, you can be ready to fight any battle. Because they're spiritual battles. They really aren't the physical battles that sometimes we see. You know, in the book of Ephesians, we find these words. I know these are familiar to you, but let me just repeat some of them to you here for a moment. It says here, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And then it goes on and it names the, the armor that you should have on. But there's something that precedes that in this scripture that I think that we need to remember that God wants for us. For it says this in the 10th verse of that 6th chapter of Ephesians, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. You see, we don't fight against flesh and blood, but it is spiritual things that are happening in our lives. Many times, even people that come into our life are led by the devil himself, the powers of Satan. And you and I have to stand strong in the Lord. We never can drop the armor. We must always have those armor parts on, okay? The faith has to be on. Of course, the salvation, the helmet has to be on. And then we take one part of what is listed there in the armor of God. We take the Word of God. It's the sword of the Spirit. You take this Word of God and you judge every action that comes against you. You judge every action that you're performing in your life based upon the Word of God. And let me tell you something, you'll be strong in the Lord. I encourage you to be strong in Jesus the Christ right now. No matter what decisions you face, no matter what trials and tribulations you go through, you will find that if you're strong in the Lord, you have overcome. I encourage you to be strong in the Lord today.